Hi guys, it's Jazzy Rose and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a tutorial on a no makeup makeup look, but this is mostly like for people that don't like to really wear makeup. Um, a lot lately I've been getting asked from people that don't wear makeup like what can I do just to get a nice highlight or to get that nice dewy look but you know I'm not really into makeup I don't like wearing foundation you know what foundation should I use I do have acne but I'm not a big makeup person so in this tutorial I'm gonna just get into everything and just show you exactly what you need to do now I figured that I would do this tutorial today just because as you can see I'm having a little bit of a breakout and I was like let me do this today because I want you guys to get like the full effect so let me just clip my hair back so guys I'm going to actually go in with a primer first I'm gonna go in with my Mac prep and prime this is from Mac cosmetics and I'm just going to apply just a little bit to my face especially in the areas that I feel that I need if you have any fine lines or pores like I have pores right here you really want to focus on those areas because this is going to get rid of them so for the next step you can do this or not it's really up to you um I'm not going to do today because I really want to try to reach out to the people that don't wear foundation but for the people that do um, I'm going to say to either buy a sheer foundation or to buy one that has visible coverage on it. Um, I'm going to suggest that you get the uh, shape tape from Tarte. This um, foundation looks very natural and how you're going to apply it is you're not going to use a beauty blender, you're not going to use a brush, you're going to use your fingers because the oils from your hands warm up the foundation and it just gives it more of a natural look and that's kind of what we're going for today. So, um, I said I would highly recommend the Shape Tape from Tarte. Um, I know they have ones from MAC that, you know, like I think it's next to nothing. Um, I also suggest that as well too. But for the people that aren't wearing foundation, um, I'm going to show you, like let's say you have like a little bit of a breakout. Um, as you can see I have, you know, something a little bright here and I have like a little bit of like old scarring, which, um, yeah, it is what it is. That's life. People break out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Shape Tape from Tarte and I'm going to just on the areas that I broke out. Like I'm starting to get one here. Like so weird. And these are just like old ones that I had. And you're just going to take your finger and just blot it out just like it as if it was a beauty blender just pat it you see how natural that looks now if this didn't do the trick go back in with it again like I feel like I need to go back right here and like look how much I'm using there's like barely anything there and just blend it out now also too as you can see I have freckles right here and I hate them and I feel like they make my face look dirty. Um, normally, I would blend it out right here too. But like I said, I'm trying to give you guys the most natural looking way of not like having any makeup on. Now, if you don't have any breakouts, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. But if you don't have any breakouts, you totally can obviously skip this part. Same thing like I said with the dark eyes. Just get a concealer and you're just going to blend it out just like we did with our pimples. So now I'm going to go in with... Um, a liquid highlighter this is more like a this is a strobing liquid this is from Maybelline this um is one of my favorites um no I like it you can use any kind of liquid highlighter of your choice it doesn't matter but I'm just gonna show you exactly where to uh, apply it right here just like a C give you a nice glow 
on the tip of your nose, right here and on your chin. And of course, you're going to do the same thing on the other eye and you're just going to put it in that C shape. So I'm just going to actually take some and just put it on my finger. Oh, a little bit too close to my eye, but my lip, nose, my chin, and the same thing around. Now, you're just going to blend this out. This you can actually like rub into your face. You don't have to, to pat it. It's all right if you get it on your lips. Focus on that tip. Now what I do is anything that you have like left over on your hands, right on the eyes, right in the corners, rub it. Be careful, try not to get in your eyes. And just right on the brow bone. Just like that. You see that nice glow I got going on? Then for your eyes as well, um, I'm not going to put on mascara. You can if you want to do like a light little mascara. Um, I'm actually, this is just like a little trick of mine. I'm going to go in with Vaseline. This is a knockoff brand. Yes, I don't care if you use it from the dollar store. Don't use A&D ointment because you are going to be applying this on your eyelashes. And I'm also going to use a eyelash curler. So, you're just going to curl your eyelashes. This one I got from, um forever 21 and believe it or not it works pretty good and I'm gonna actually do this twice just curl your eyelashes and like bounce it same thing on the other eye Do it again this works pretty good and I'm gonna do it again I just really want my eyelashes to be curled. And then you're going to take your Vaseline. You're going to use like the littlest amount because you're about to apply this to your eyelashes. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually going to make your eyelashes look a lot more dramatic and a lot more natural. And that's what we're going for. So you're literally like go like this. Like, you see how there, there's barely, like, anything on my finger? And you're just going to brush it onto your eyelashes. And then also apply it right on the top of your lid. And you can do it with the lower lashes as well. And this is going to make your lashes look, like I said, they're going to make it look more dramatic, longer. And you're going to see them. And there's no mascara. Now for the lips, you're also going to use the same Vaseline. You can use a clear lip gloss. You could use one with maybe like a light, a light pink tint to it. I'm going to go right in with the Vaseline. And I'm just going to apply it. Now, since we're not using any powder, you really want to set this. And, of course, I'm going to go in with my All Night Urban K setting spray. And you're just going to spray this on. Ooh, you never get used to that feeling, no matter how many times you do this. And this is just going to set everything in place because we're not going in with any powder for the cream not to move around. So you definitely need to set it with something. 
So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I know that I didn't go in with my eyebrows. If you guys are interested in going in um, and filling in your brows a little bit, um, I suggest that you get the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo and their gel mascara, which is not a mascara, but it looks like one, but it will hold everything in place and it will seal in the powder as well. I will leave a link in the description box of how you can get that and what exactly it is. So I hope you guys like this look and I hope you like this tutorial and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.